Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside with me today. Today we'd like to address the question of do I need to buy different arrows for the different aspects and different styles of archery that I want to pursue. So I want to go through really quickly and talk about why we would use certain styles of arrows, what those styles of arrows are particularly good for, and then in particular with this uh, Vegas face here, why I want to use particular size diameter arrows for hunting 3D and particularly for indoor archery. So we'll start with a typical indoor arrow. A typical indoor arrow is very heavy, it's very slow, it's very large diameter. You would normally use a longer fletching, either feathers or a longer vein, with as much helical as you can get on a blade rest, like what I'm shooting right now on my Elite Energy 35. So for indoor, it's a 20 yard shot. You want your arrow to correct itself and be flying as straight and true to the target as quickly as possible. You don't have a lot of time for it to be correcting the archer's paradox in flight. So you want a heavy arrow and you want as much helical on the back end as you can afford to allow it to correct and start, start spinning the way it's supposed to as quickly and efficiently as possible. Also for indoor, typically you want to use a large diameter. This is 9.3 millimeters outside diameter or 2364, which is the world archery maximum diameter. Now for shooting an outdoor arrow, you would see something like this really old game tracker laser light. Very thin to allow very little wind drift, very light in the hand. This thing only comes into about 330 grains when it's fully loaded with a point and a knock. Um, it's got feathers on the back end. Again, a longer feather, um, but still very, very, very light compared to a plastic fletch. Now again, we'll talk about diameter and why this arrow is with this target face here in a second. but. In particular, for the outdoor arrow, you're going to see a lot of people shooting a thinner arrow, and particularly after those longer distances of 30, 40, 50, 60, and even further meters and yards. So for hunting, you have zero interest in cutting lines and paper. You want to cut a nice clean hole through an animal in order to get a quick, clean, ethical kill. So your concern really isn't about diameter. It's really about concern finding a good blend of speed and a good blend of weight on the front end of your arrow with the broad head as well as the overall shaft weight. You'll see a lot of guys also in particular on the 3D range shooting their hunting arrows. As for example, something like this gold tip hunter, it's got a pretty good outside diameter. It's going to cut a line or two. Too, but it's also a very durable arrow, it's a very solid arrow, and a lot of guys for 3D are also shooting their archery hunting setup, so it's a good crossover blend. But again, in the target world, you might want to think about stepping up diameter. So let's uh, zoom in here a little bit closer to this target face and show exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to punch four holes through this paper target here using the four different shafts. I'm going to use a .166 inside diameter shaft, which is that game tracker. I'm going to shoot the, uh, or rather just punch a hole through with the 204 four axes, two four four uh, gold tip, or rather it's a 246, but it's very comparable. And then I'm going to use the 23 size diameter, which I've denoted with the aluminum 23XX through this cross right here. Unfortunately, we had a mishap there with the uh, 0.166 shaft as you see it tore the target, but you can see the general outline of here. It was not going to cut the overall 10 ring of the target. It was going to stay just outside, and that would have scored a 9. Up here, the eastern axis, the 0.204 inside diameter. Nice clean hole here. I was a little bit high when I punched it in, but even still, you can see this uh, pretty impressive gap still. This would have also scored a 9. Getting a little bit closer, we have the Gold Tip Hunter, uh, which comes out a little bit larger than uh, 0.244, which is a standard diameter for uh, inside diameter for a lot of shafts in the market. But even then, it still would have very, gotten very close, but it would have not have cut the 10 ring. Then I come down here to this uh, 23 size shaft, the Eastern Triumph, and as you can see, it did cut the bottom edge, just barely clipped the bottom edge of the 10 ring. That would have scored a 10. And in target archery, that one point can mean all the world. That can mean making it cut, that can mean placing on the metal stand, that can mean being in the money or being going home uh, empty-handed. So when it comes to shooting paper targets in particular, shooting that fatter diameter shaft and kind of forking out the money to purchase that fatter diameter shaft is really a good idea. So of course I can already hear the naysayers in the comments talking about how well you don't really need to buy it, right? Just shoot better, right? I can tell you that I've seen this from first-hand experience. So if you follow me on Facebook, I went to the Great American Outdoor Show here in 2018 down in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I was able to take second in my division, the Bowhunter Division, uh, in spot shoot. 
um, and the gentleman that I was competing against in my uh, part of the bracket was a phenomenal shot. He also shot an Elite Energy 35. He shot a very nice setup. He was doing a fantastic job. It was his first shoot ever. It was really uh, encouraging to shoot with him, talk to a new archer, or not a new archer, but talk to a, a, a guy that was new to the sport of indoor archery, and it was a really fun time. The I would say the disadvantage that he brought to the table was that he was shooting gold tip velocity arrows, which are a much smaller diameter arrow. He was shooting his hunting setup. I mean, he was shot, uh, shooting what he knew and what he shot well, and I have to give him props, but I can tell you what, he put a whole bunch of arrows in between the 10 ring and the X ring, and because he was shooting that smaller diameter arrow, he wasn't cutting that extra X ring, whereas the times that I was in between, I was shooting my 23 size arrows, I was able to cut that X ring, score that extra point, and improve the gap between the two of us. That's all for this video. If you ever have any questions about arrow diameters or anything else pertaining to archery, follow the links in the description below to my Facebook or my Gmail, or even leave a comment here on YouTube. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, the sport of archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.